hate to use my Virginia tag, but I might have to do that. <laughs> I have to tell you, but you're going to owe me for a doctor visit because that's my first time. Alright, so we got a track started not too far down in here. We're going to see what happens. See if they get going or not. But, uh, but yeah. We'll see what happens. Well, I'm just up here working the mules a little bit this evening and figured it'd be a good time to do an explanation on uh, the first half of this hunt that you are getting ready to watch. We didn't really have any plans to film this hunt. I talked to my cousin and realized that he had updated his camera off and on as the morning went. And it ended up being just too great of experience not to um, finish out and share. So that morning we all split up um, trying to find a bear track. Uh, my uncle went down a ridge his hounds found a track, brought it up towards the road. I was close enough, I got back in the truck, come around. The hounds basically jumped it. The bear was laying within 50 yards of the road that all that morning we had been driving right by it. But uh, it was hours later. He finally, the dogs brought him kind of back towards the road within a half mile. And I went ahead and took my chance and got in there as quick as I could. And um, then we kind of filmed the rest of the hunt from there. Okay. Hey, she's coming back y'all's way too. If she goes on over here, we might head back to the truck, I reckon. Barking, George, so it must be a pretty good track. All right, 10-4, I guess. They're right away from us now. I'm gonna head back to the truck. All right, so we're heading back towards the truck. Uh, we'll get it back out on the road. They're up and seem like they're actually trailing pretty decent now. We're heading back towards the truck now. All right, we're riding back down the road here. Uh, we hit a track, went back to the truck, trying to get here, Ten this one turn. The dogs are coming up toward the road. Uh, little George is in the road and he said he just struck something right there. I have a feeling bear might have already crossed right here. So we'll have to find out and see. All right, so we just got back to the end of this road. Um, got close enough to him. They was coming off the side. They was barking pretty good coming down through there, so uh, we're going to try to keep up with them and uh, see uh, see what happens with this. Well, dog got to spare on the ground. Staying away from the race. I'm whizzing up his trail. I'm going to try to get a few more dogs with him. So I'm getting kind of close to where it crossed. Put these dogs on the lead so I make sure they go the right way. You can see the dogs starting to win it now. Starting to pull in the lead. Other dogs are about a ridge ahead, but they are wore out. So fresh dogs ought to really help. I definitely don't have the best towns around there. I'm sure there's guys that have better, but um, at the same time, they do tree bear pretty consistently for me. 
and typically they can take an overnight track where um, if the bears walk there the evening before I can usually come the next morning and typically they'll take it with not too many problems um, that's not every time but most of the time um, on this particular day it was pretty interesting and and I'm sure a lot of you guys that um, hound hunt a lot have run into this many a time I know I have but um, I'm headed up the trail and the bear just crossed about two minutes before I got there and honestly if I'd have been walking fast and not paying attention um, I would have probably walked right over that track um, the dogs didn't couldn't really smell that great it's just an interesting thing um, scent and scenting conditions um, I have a lot of theories on but I don't know if I'll ever actually totally understand but um, anyway just figured I'd jump in real quick all right so we just hustled it up the trail here doing some more dogs with it on the track we're going we're heading back towards the road now we're going to try to and y'all stop making fun of me off there okay i'm trying to record videos here i'm good for more than commercial jokes i don't know but I'm, I'm, anyway we're trying to get back to the truck the dogs are heading to the other road we're trying to get to the other road what he said <laughs> All right, we, we, we got me. back to, I got them dogs loose um, to help out them front dogs. I put some back ones in and got back to the truck. They're headed on down towards the road, so I'm whizzing around. Jeffrey's in front of me, and we'll try to get some more dogs on this and hopefully get treated for dark, so we'll see. Uh, we got a couple more dogs in there. We'll see what's happening in a second here. Hey. All right. So it treed real quick. Then it um it jumped back out apparently and took off again. Jeffrey's in at the tree right now. We're gonna see what uh one of us is gonna go in real quick. Grab gun, George. Rock and roll. All right. I am whizzing in here. They got this bear on the ground. We just seen it. They climbed the tree and then jumped out right in the dogs. I'm losing around here. Hate to use my Virginia tag, but might have to today. We'll see. I'm gonna go below him and come around. Is it up? Is it up? Breathe down a little hard. I got a big ridge to pull. Jeffrey, it's up. Man, it ain't much of a tree. All right, it just treed again. Stand here looking, so. We're gonna ease in here and try to get these dogs off. It's up a tree. Well, we're about 50 yards from this tree. And the bear is antsy. He ain't wanted to tree all day. We've had him on the ground. And finally got a few more dogs on him, got him tree. But he don't want to stay. This will be probably the third time. Third time he's treed. He keeps bailing out.
bear all day. Had him on the ground forever. Finally got a few more dogs. A few fresh dogs. When he crossed the trail, we got to find him. And he was able to help pull a little pressure. We got him to climb a tree. So. Anyway. Another day kill season, we're in the rain. It's not, it's not that cold. Kind of weird for it to be December. And uh, just raining. I can't hardly hear me much over his dogs, but finally got him in a tree here. It was a big old mess. I couldn't hardly have time to explain a while ago. But it was coming up to the road and I actually washed it from the road. Because I ran in early and put dogs in on it. And I got down close to the road and it kept coming up and climbing the trees and right back down the dogs. So George had a few more dogs that ended up putting on it. And when he put those there, finally put them on the ridge here and tree. And we just finally made it into it now. Easton, Uncle Jeff, and Aunt Becky are coming up to this tree. I'm not sure. We'll see. We're thinking about going in and taking this bear. Folks did a really good job. And I mean, they had a long, long chase. bottom of the hollow with it I come whizzing down the ridge just to make sure we always stay with them we always stay with these bear once we get them out of a tree and then uh, make sure that they're 100% dead before we let any of the hounds what we call wool them which is smell them uh, it's kind of the hounds reward so anyway I'm gonna holler back at little Jeff he's probably 100 yards up the ridge this bear rolled all the way down and I'm going to tell him to start turning some of the hounds loose to come down here and I'll catch him up. And uh, we'll go from there. Good job. That makes number two. Good job, boys. All right, start sending me a couple, but maybe leave the lead straps on them. All right, they're sending me a couple down the ridge. Got Jeffrey bringing the bear down in the hollow. So, got these dogs. Come on, y'all. No, come on. Got these dogs almost back to the truck. So, anyway, come on, y'all. Come on. Come on.
fucking cold. That's cold. Jason, <laughs> I can tell you, but you're going to owe me for a doctor visit because my throat's hurting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Thank God I'm the editor. <laughs> it's a whiny butt. <laughs> I wanted to go home. Pitiful. I didn't even want to do this here. You're a liar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, man. This last day I get to hunt. Lift up on the chain. Do you want to just unsnap the green lead right there? Ow! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> lift up. How many stooges does it take to load a bear? Ah! <laughs> I'm glad we got this on video. Oh my goodness. Well, that makes uh, my second bear I've got so far. I've been to uh, a lot of trees, but I haven't really time to shoot any of them. Never really had much of a desire. I'd rather somebody else oh. got it, but <laughs> today I decided I'd go ahead and okay. I took the shot. It's been a nice day. I guess it's back to the real world now. Back to work. Get, come, get come Monday. Paper.